They came from different centuries. One was a priest and one wasn't. But yet, I think comparisons can be made, perhaps useful, perhaps not. In their careers, for example, it's curious that both of them had a career divided almost at midlife. So you have, in the case of Galileo, at the age of something like 46, he left his professorship at the University of Padua, which he later said uh, were the happiest years of his life, to become a courtier in Florence, uh, where he spent the rest of his life uh, in or around Florence. And uh, as for Boscovich at the age of 49, having spent uh, 30 years at the Roman College in various capacities, in the last some, what, 20 years as professor, he too went wandering, uh, and partly as a courtier, uh, a technique that he had perfected uh, over the uh, previous decade or so. Uh, so they both uh, had this midlife change. And uh, in both cases, they uh, set up as philosophers. Uh, they had been professors of mathematics, and then they became uh, philosophers for various reasons, primarily, I think, uh, besides interest, primarily in order to try to persuade the powers that be to accept their particular way of looking at the world. Well, I think maybe, um, one could almost argue that the uh, Roman Catholic Church, because it was sometimes hostile and sometimes supportive of people like uh, Galileo and Boscovich, remember both of them had the support of a pope uh, for a time, Urban VIII in the case of Galileo and Benedict XIV in the case of Boscovich, uh, both of them had uh, ideas uh, that they wished to put forward and which were constrained by the environment, but not fully constrained in a way in which almost to challenge them and give uh, power to their elbow. And uh, you might think of it as a sort of evolutionary thing, that the church did keep down people who were not so, what shall we say, uh, sure of themselves as Galileo and uh, Boscovich were. I think that's one other parallel you can make. They were both uh, self-assured. They made friends easily and lost them perhaps more readily. They were from time to time arrogant, aggressive. Uh, but those are the qualities one needed uh, to uh, make a, uh, an impression beyond uh, the ordinary in that society.